anybody come to praise him this morning? Come on, anybody come to praise him this morning? We got to give God all we got this morning. Hallelujah. Any worshipers in here today? Come on, any worshipers? Would you just lift our hands? We want to sing this song together, man.
say amen to that. If you know that he's doing some great things in your life, why don't you look at somebody and say, great things, great things. Come look at Brother David and say, hey, great things, great things. I mean, it's just too much to talk about. I can tell you, if I start on the list of things, I can get some things. But one thing about it is, is that I'm so grateful that I'm saved today. Come on, I'm glad that I'm saved today. This morning, what's this? Yeah. We read on last week, we read the fact that uh, God honors unity. Can you say amen to that? Amen. It brings praise to God. Can you say amen to that? Amen. Paul expressed over at chapter 14 how it is that we should conduct ourselves in a manner that is pleasing to God, that brings glory to God. And uh, it is imperative that we know uh, how to conduct ourselves. Between verses 7 and 13, let's see what it says. It says, therefore accept each other in the same way that Christ accepted you. Can you read with me? He did this to bring glory to God. Come on. Let me explain. Christ became a servant for the Jewish people to reveal God's truth. As a result, he fulfilled God's promise to the ancestors of the Jewish people. People who are not Jewish, praise God for his mercy as well. Stop. People who are not Jewish, praise God for his mercy as well. Now watch this. That was a very significant piece, Mr. Leona Gray, because it was custom, it was normal routine for the Jewish to give praise. But the Gentiles, because they didn't have the joy, He said that not only should they be saved, he says they ought to look like it every day. Let's read on. This is what the scripture says. That is why I will give thanks to you among the nations. Stop. That is why I will give praise. Y'all still quiet? Praise is visible or audible? Praise is visible? You don't look too much like praise when it comes. Praise is visible and praise is audible. He says, that's why he says, that's why I I will give thanks to you among the nations and sing praises. What does that mean? That means that at that point, I believe if I'm right, that was a Yada praise at that point they referenced to. And that Yada praise is a perfect expression to God. In other words, Yada praise says that God, you're great. Try it.
He's going to be the one to turn this thing around. Are y'all fine? Are y'all fine? Do you not know that the root of Jesse has already turned this thing around? And because of him, you have freedom. Because of him, you have the ability to wave your hands. I said because of him, you can come to church on Sunday morning.
But he says you got to do your part, brother Archie. Do everything that you can to make sure that people feel comfortable being saved. Psalm 133 and 1 again goes on and talks about how beautiful and pleasant, how good and pleasant it is. Come on, for, for brethren to dwell in, 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 in unity. Are you with me? We can experience all the joy that comes by the power of the Holy Spirit. In other words, this is a supernatural, somebody shout, wonderful. Out of this world kind of joy, in other words. Are you listening? Not only will we receive supernatural joy, but also supernatural peace. Are you listening to me? And you must understand, <coughs> this is my final piece. Peace right. does not, I need you to write, peace does not come from an absence of problems well. or conflicts. <laughs> you got it, man? Yep. Right up. You get on my nerves. You need to come to class earlier. <laughs> <laughs> right. I said peace does not come without problems or conflict. Run the intern response. I don't care what you think. Are you with me? Here's the reality. We may have a difference. Come on, church. Of opinion. But what we have to do is if we're going to ultimately find peace. Y'all ain't yelling with me. If you're going to find peace, guess what? You know what you're going to have to do with your super holy self? <laughs> uh-huh. You know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to put your opinion in your pocket about Rhonda because
Miss uh, Mrs. Laura Sterling lost her sister. Sister Betty uh, Wade lost her brother. Some of our other friends and loved ones, Brother Carlton, celebrating your siblings' birthday. While somebody else is on the happy side. Somebody else can be on the sad side. That's why you got to do your work to make it for certain. But you stay pleasant on the other side. I tell you, people are going through. But some of them are holding up. Put a lot of priests along the way and went to sleep. And that's what he came home to hear. And you need Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. I want you to come. Watch this song. Take about 15 minutes. First Sunday, y'all, please give it to at least 12 o'clock. All right? And then y'all get that 30, that 40, the last few weeks. First Sunday, please give it at least into 12 o'clock. So glad to have Brother Bobby Davis back with us. We do pray. Amen. We do pray for the Savior. We do pray for you. Watch this song. Prepare ourselves to move expeditiously to our next set of service. But if you're here today and you need Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, perhaps secondly, you're here and you are a backslider. Guess what? You can come right now. And the good Lord will take you where, from where you are, to where you need to be. Won't tell nobody to get back Third of all, if you need a church home, I got news for you. Now, if you need a missionary back to church, it'll be a great church to be a part of. Finally, we're going to pray corporately. We prepare for the meal here today. And I want you to do this, and we're going to move that tradition. So watch this. So, hey, you know what I told you to say, don't you? Will you listen to me? God works on your behalf, doesn't he? He was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my victims. The chastisement of our peace was broken. By his stripes, we are healed. I said, we are healed. Yes. 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 If perhaps you're here today and you don't want to come down to the altar, any of these brothers with these black suits on or whatever they have on today are able to lead you to Christ. They should be able to lead you to Christ and tell you about Jesus Christ and his death, his birth, death, and resurrection. And it's just as simple as that. People of God, guess what? You're also responsible. After you become saved, you're supposed to become a disciple of Christ to lead others to Christ. Can you say amen to that?